Hello, Veta121 here. Welcome back, and we are Let's Playing Elder Scrolls V. And in the last episode, we made it to this, uh, this, uh, this inn or whatever, this Night Gate Inn, or what does it say? Night Gate Inn. And, uh, yeah, we met some orc, some spoony orc over there who, uh, carries around a loot. Apparently, he just spends all his time here, uh, Permitting most of the time, I guess. Doesn't really do a whole lot. But in this episode, we're going to continue our journey to uh, the College of Winterhold, which I do believe is actually this way. So I was facing the wrong direction. Okay. So sign says we go this way, so let's go this way. I understand that I could oh crap. I understand that I could fast travel, but I'm not doing that because I might actually discover some stuff along the way. Maybe I could sell these wolf pelts for a piddly amount of gill, perhaps. Later on. Actually, crap, how do I, oh yeah, okay, there we go. I'll go with flames for a while, why not? Ooh, what's this? Forsaken Cave. another cave. You know what, screw it, I haven't done enough dungeon crawling lately. Let's go inside this cave. See if there's anything good to find. Yeah, bone meal, that crap is like everywhere. Anything in this cart? Nothing? Sounds like there's a lot of wolves in this cave. Hello, wolf. Easy, easy. Ooh, carries an amethyst. Nice. Wasn't expecting to get an amethyst from a wolf. Spooky. Oh. Hmm. more gold. I will take the gold. Gladly take the gold. Motion of Minor Magicka. Doesn't look like there's a... wait a minute. Something past that thing. No, okay, just make it sure. Hmm. Interesting. It's definitely getting warmer as we go down. Oh, I just took a pot. I thought I was searching it. Oh well. That's 
jugs. Some more urns. I'll take the money though. Okay. Bunch of empty ones. Whoa. Uh <laughs> I, apparently I just triggered a switch and it completely missed me. But well, that's cool. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, where did you come from, man? Goodbye. I'll take his gold, though. Hide armor. Not worth much. I'll take the gold in the lockpicks, though. God, what is it with all these empty urns? Oh. Eat it, undead. Oh, crap, there's more. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. What's that? Nothing. Armor to armor display. Ooh, and another another amethyst. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me guess, more undead. Right around the corner. I thought we were exploring an ice cave. This place has turned into a freaking tomb. In a hurry. Oh crap. Oh crap. Where did you come from, man? Sorry to wake you up. Ooh, a garnet. Soul gems, I'll take all that stuff. Hmm. Alright. Oh, crap. Goodbye. in here I don't even oh crap where are they coming from oh hey what's up what's up guy I think I'm gonna backtrack I was over... what the hell is this? Oh, my block increased. Not that I'm ever going to use it, but... That's cool. Iron ingot? I suppose I could take these. Not really worth that much, but... They're there. Unlock, uh, okay, so we got a locked door here. I forgot how to do this. And you rotate, oh, okay. Ah, oh, crap. What? 
Oh man, that was so close. There we go. Can we get in here? Some gold. More gold and a potion. And what is this? An orcish war axe. Doesn't look bad, but I'm, I don't use weapons. Come on now. You guys know that by now. I don't use weapons. Now, if they would have given me a scroll to teach me a powerful magic spell, then I would have been hell yeah. But as it is, it wasn't. So. Now, somehow I get the feeling that that guy's going to wake up eventually here. Never did search you, did I? Ooh, a gold ingot. Nice. I will take those and sell those. Bombing tool. Yeesh. I would hate to have that fucking job. Uh-oh. I just heard something. I just heard something move. What's going on here? Oop. We got some zombies up ahead. Yeah, there we go. No problem. Steel ingots. Finding a lot of those ingots in this place. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, what the hell, man? Okay, whatever you do, don't step on that, and I'm guessing that's a trap as well. Jeez, man. Christ. Whoa! <laughs> I kind of knew that was coming somehow. Wait a minute. What triggers that? Oh, right there, okay. Somebody doesn't want us exploring this area. Wow, look at all these silver ingots that I can take and sell. I don't know how much, I don't know pr pretty much for how much, but Linen wraps. Let's see here. A silver garnet ring. Huh. Okay. Sounds like this cave is about to cave in on me. I will take the potions. Take the silver ingots. Another embalming tool. Okay, now we're in the Forsaken Crypt. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'll be right back. Alright, just wanted to check my timer there for a second as we continue to explore this place. Whatever we find in here, I have no idea what we're supposed to find in here. I don't know if we're supposed to find a quest item or what. More zombies. You're a zombie. Oh yeah, gain a destruction level too, I like it. Hmm. Some more 
gold. Burned book. Oh, thanks. Take the potion of magicka though. Stamina potion. Healing potion. Bunch of burned books. Kinda hard to see. Search this guy. like getting gold. Gold is always a good thing. Oh, hi. Ooh, you can shoot ice at me? Wow. But guess what? I win. crazy. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Got to get a little restoration in there. Uh, flames. There we go. Hide helmets. A couple skulls. People are saying, oh, you should use armor because um, it doesn't penalize your magic or whatever in this game like it does in the previous games, but eh. It doesn't really fit in with the whole mage concept I have for the character I'm using, so... Maybe later on if I find some enchanted stuff that really, really looks like it helps me, then, I'm not, then, I'll, then I'll use it, but otherwise... I'm not going to worry about it right now. Like if I find like a steel plated armor that gives me like a hundred extra magic points or whatever, then I'll equip it. Otherwise, I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about stuff like that. Burial urns. Ooh. Finding all this nice stuff to sell. Okay, now yeah, now we're up here. What the hell? Oh. There's a guy over there. Let's get his attention. why he wasn't running at me. That's fine. Anything in these coffers? Here's a chest. Some crap. And uh, potions. Silver ingots. Linen wraps. Yeah, onward. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. I'm sorry to kill you. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, and somebody was commenting on the uh, difficulty level that I'm playing on. I'm actually playing on Adept. I'm not playing it on like super hard difficulty. So, yeah, please don't comment about it anymore. I mean, just to play it on hard is just, I don't know. I'm not playing it on hard, but I'm not playing it on freaking novice either. So, whoa. Hello, watch out for the spikes. Huh, <laughs> jeez. Wait a minute, how do you get past here? Or can you get past there? Okay, I guess, I guess you can't. Hmm, I don't like this. It's kind of fishy. Hello. I hear some. Oh, hi. Oh crap, I didn't want to take that lousy sword. Oh well. If I gotta chop it later, I will. Oh crap. Hello. That was the point of that. Well, I guess that's the room that that guy came out of. but surely stockpiling a nice supply of gold here. Oh. Another amethyst. It's a pretty long dungeon. Holy crap. Looks like it's starting to get a lot more dangerous, huh? Whoa. What the hell is this all about? Ooh. Look at this guy. A curl mill. Oh, wow. Nice. Well, I got him. Ooh, an ancient Nordic war axe of the cold. Not that I care. Ooh, didn't see you, man. Dead ends. Whoa. What the hell? What the hell is this? Word of power learned. Kill. Marked for death. Okay, so I learned another shout or something like that. So that's cool. Scroll of Dread Zombie? Reanimated weak type body fire for you. I don't know if I already have that spell or not. Staff of the Familiar. Someone's a familiar for 60 seconds where the caster is pointing. Oh, okay. 
cool. Novice Robes of Illusion. That's not too bad either. Leather Helmet of Minor Destruction. Destruction spells cast 12% less to... Hey! This is actually not too bad. Why don't I equip that, huh? Why don't I equip that? Let me see. Let's go to my... Uh, what am I going... Tab? Items? Apparel? Yeah, I'll equip that. I don't know. Would having 30 more magic points be better than having 12% less to cast from... Uh, uh, I think that might actually be better. I don't care about those. Increase your stamina with Nah, I don't care. Foot wraps, novice hood, novice robe. Yeah, I'll keep my novice robes of destruction. Because that's kind of what I use as my primary attacking, so minor ring of lock picking and all this other stuff that I don't really need. Okay. Well that's cool. Learned a new shout, whatever that means. I don't I still don't know what they do. Is there a point in coming in here other than that shout? Is this like a switch? What the hell is this thing? Okay, well I guess... Uh, I guess there is no quick exit out of this place. Doesn't look like it anyways. Unless I'm... Oh. So I'm not looking hard enough. point of this oh there's a lever here oops good grief am I blind empty urn oh okay so we're back out on the outside then all right cool well I got a went in this cave here and uh, got a shout and uh, hold on a minute okay yeah I just needed to check something real quick there now if we hit well what the hell how come it doesn't work okay I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here but apparently you're supposed to hit the Z key in order to actually activate one of your shouts or whatever but it's not working for me for whatever reason so I'm gonna have to like look something up or read about it or just give me a tip about it or whatever on what the shouts are about and what they're used for and that is all for this episode of let's play elder scrolls 5 in the next episode uh we'll continue heading to the north towards the college of winterhold this is veto 121 i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time